Hello, it's Nancy Pampered with Giant Diamonds. I am here to show you what I've done with the flower so far. And I know what I was doing wrong. I was letting it dry. Don't let it dry. Yep, you can't let it dry, guys. And I was doing it wrong. So I'm going to finish this up. And you can't be a heavy placer. Okay, you just got to touch it. I ended up making it like a, a rainbow rose. Of course, now that I'm back on camera, it's going to mess up. Okay. All right, I think I know what the problem is. That pen had um, glue dot in it, so it wasn't strong enough. It's too strong for this glue. So... I've had to use the wax, and the wax doesn't have such a tight grip on the diamonds. So, so I'm going to finish this up. But I wanted to show you the finished product. Where'd you go? Then you have to just gently put it down. And as you can see, it's, it's all getting placed. So there is my flower. So I just wanted to finish that up and show you. And I, the reason I cut that out is because all that was still sticky. And every time I touched it, it was still sticky. And it was sticking to my hand everywhere. So I just cut out the leaves. And I'm going to cut out the flower. And then I'm going to put just the flower part on top right here on a piece of cardstock. And I can use that as the cover of a greeting card for somebody. So let me know what you think of my flower. I had to make, make it different colors because I ran out of um, the red. So I just decided I'm going to make a rainbow. So tell me what you think. So that's how you make your own double-sided adhesive poured glue. All right, thank you.